when I was in third year, mm. I got married. Mm -hmm. Okay. A life event. Exactly. <laughs> So I went to Nyeri High School mm -hmm. in 1990. Mm -hmm. I went to, sorry, University of Nairobi, Nairobi in 1990, mm -hmm. and I joined medical school. Mm. And um, I was there. Again, I continued with my drama. Mm. I was <laughs> interested in theater. Mm. And I remember meeting a group called Mbalamwezi Players. Aha. And I, how did I meet them? Because a friend of mine told me mm -hmm. one day there was a play being done at the National Theater. Mm -hmm. And uh, I went to watch the play. Mm -hmm. And it was a uh, betrayal in the city. Mm -hmm. A very popular. Exactly. Mm. It was a set piece in schools. Yeah. yeah. And I just fell in love mm. with drama. I was like, oh my God, I wish I was one of those guys up mm. there. Mm. And after the play, I approached one of them, said, you know, I really would like to do this. I was 20 years then. Mm. I just joined university. Mm. Mm. And they said, you know, leave us your, your post office box. There were no numbers <laughs> then. Post office box mm. and your name will mm. write to you. Mm. And I waited and I waited and I waited and mm. nothing came up. Mm. And then one day, I don't know how I met them uh, in the university environment. They, they came to do something. Mm. And I told them, guys, what happened? They said, oh, sorry, uh, we forgot, but we have an audition mm. on this day at French Cultural Center. Mm. So I went mm. and I became a member of Balamwezi. Oh. So throughout my campus, campus yeah. 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, before I got to Manao, my final years, uh, which I now got busy. Yeah. I was a member of Balamwezi Players. Interesting. I did a lot of theater. Some of which are like? French Cultural Center. Yeah, no, no. So, we redid so, uh -huh. Between the City. Between the City. Yeah. Uh, we did, um, a, 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 you know, a play from Israel called Lower Depths. Mm -hmm. uh, I did Bedside Manners. Mm -hmm. Uh, and many other places. What were some of the most interesting roles that you I think Bets and Manners was, the, was actually the one that was most interesting. It was a comedy. And your role was? My role <laughs> was, um, well, well, well. My role was um, this guy who was married mm -hmm. and I was having an affair. Mm -hmm. And it was actually quite a lot of drama <laughs> because there was confusion at some point yeah. and... Uh, and um, my girlfriend and uh, my, I, I think I was actually not married. I was dating mm. two, two chicks mm. and they got to meet each mm. other. So it was oh, drama on stage. Drama, drama. At some point I'm jumping through the window in my boxers and that <laughs> kind of thing. So I remember that. And yeah. there are even newspaper cuttings in the nation actually, oh. of, of that play. That's really cool. Yeah. Interesting that your life in campus, yeah. you're pursuing a medical degree. Yes. Which can be And I'm still interested and, in... And, but you're also yeah. making your own life in campus very, very yeah. interesting. Exactly. On side. exactly. You must have been a cool, cool boy, you know? <laughs> I don't think I was cool. I was just... Um, I was just um, diversified. Yeah. Yeah. Because again, you remember... Having come from the village, and, and I've explained to you my, you know, high school, mm. uh, secondary school, yeah. high school, yeah. and coming now into campus. Mm. Now, campus is also cosmopolitan. Mm -hmm. So you have Very. kids from everywhere. At that point, we didn't have parallel students. Yeah. We had no private students, the yeah. whole government. But you're in Nairobi. So but now you're in Nairobi. As, so you have a lot of as as cosmopolitan as I can get. Yeah. And uh, I couldn't relate mm. with people from Nairobi, really. Mm. So mm. I wasn't a cool boy. I was just you know, I did my place. I mm. got back to campus. I hung around my boys who are probably from a previous mm. kind of similar background. Mm -hmm. They were real cool boys. Mm. There was only one guy in our class with a car. And that was the coolest boy in school. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That was the <laughs> coolest boy in school. Mm. We are good buddies now. Mm. He was the only guy with a car in the entire Chiromo campus. Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah. But so, through your theater, are you earning? Well, you would get paid um, 50, initially we started with 50 shillings a show. Mm -hmm. So you'd, you'd get the script, mm -hmm. you'd look through the script, mm. and then you'd memorize it, you'd then do rehearsals for maybe two months. Mm. Then now you start doing the public performances, mm -hmm. and for every performance you get 50 bob. Mm. So if you do two shows on a Sunday, you get 100. If you mm. do two shows on a Saturday, you get 100. Mm. If you do a show on Thursday, Friday, you get 50. Mm. Then by the time I left, I think we used to get maybe 200 per show, okay. which had kind of gone up. Yeah. So it's, it was not like paying yeah. but it'll give you some pocket money yeah yeah that's what it was so you are not doing it for for income no <clears throat> for you you are doing it for it to diversify fun. to to have fun it was so much fun mm. it was so much fun i think 
<clears throat> when you're on stage, mm. there's nothing as good as an applause from the audience. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And mm. I think I I picked a lot of mm. my public speaking, mm. my engagement with mm. audiences. public audiences mm. from mm. that. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So that was really useful in my character development. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And would it would it would it also reflect like in class presentations that you would need to do at that point? Yeah, like what you're learning from. It would. Mm -hmm. I think all the way from, as I told you, I did a lot of, when I was in primary school, I did concerts, you know, mm. church concerts, mm. reflecting the story of Solomon. Mm. And one of you would be Solomon, the mm. other one would be, you know, mm. and then I go to Nyeri High School, I'm doing drama, mm. uh, dance drama. Mm -hmm. Then I go to Mangu, I did poetry. Mm. Then I go to the university and I'm in theater. Mm. That kind of gave me a lot of um, character in terms of removing my fear mm. to addressing mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. and talking. Mm -hmm. um, and therefore, even in class, mm -hmm. it kind of reflected mm -hmm. in me being able to present. Mm -hmm. You know, in medicine, you mm -hmm. do a lot of case presentations yeah. of patients to mm -hmm. your lecturers. Mm -hmm. If you don't have the confidence mm -hmm. to, then you may not be a, do yeah. a good job. Yeah. Being able to be challenged. Mm -hmm. and So I think that really helped me mm -hmm. to be a better person mm -hmm. and to mm -hmm. develop my character. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And your grades in, in, in campus, you're, you're doing well. I was doing I, I, I well, actually, and, mm -hmm. and it, it's interesting that I did not know I was doing well, but mm -hmm. I was doing well. Mm -hmm. I would pass, mm -hmm. and of course you pass, you move to the next class. Mm -hmm. I never repeated, mm -hmm. I never did a supplementary. Mm -hmm. uh, I was in drama. Mm -hmm. Again, my consciousness was important because I never missed a class. Mm -hmm. You know, I was, I'm the kind of person who gets there on time. Mm -hmm. Even now, mm -hmm. I, I will always be somewhere mm -hmm. on time. Mm -hmm. I will always, you know, um, uh, be present. I will mm. not, mm. I'm not a skyver. Yeah. I never sneaked out of yeah. school yeah. kind of thing. That's... And I would say that's a family background, mm. you know. Mm. Um, so that helped. Mm. So when I finished campus, mm -hmm. that's when I realized actually I was top of class. Because now they oh. aggregate all your abstracts through. Throughout and campus. then when you finish, they have this award ceremony that the University of Nairobi hosts up to now. Yeah. And I was best final year student in my class. I was best in surgery. And I was best in obstetrics and gynecology. And I got given money. It's paying off six years later. Yeah. It's just, and you're not like working out because you want to beat the other students. Yeah. It's just kind of being there. So you are coming to learn all of this. Yeah. At the end. Accumulation of six years. Yes. How did that make you feel? <laughs> well, I, my name was in the newspapers, you know, they used to publish all yeah. the top set. It was a whole page. The award, and they don't publish it anymore yeah. now. Yeah. But it made me feel very, very good. And I got, I think, for surgery, I got 500 bob. For obstetrics and gynecology, I got 500 bob. And for being best, I got 1,500. So for, for the ones that you needed to practice, uh, the last two years were in-depth for, for um, like, actual med... Were you, like, taken to particular um, facilities where you needed to practice this? Yeah. So when you get into medicine, you start mm -hmm. off with um, the foundational courses. Mm -hmm. So in first year, you do anatomy. Mm -hmm. Anatomy means that you spend the entire year dissecting a human body. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. A corpse. And you, each of you gets, like at that point, we were not too many. I remember in our class, we were like 107. Mm -hmm. And um, I must also reflect on the fact that the gender gap uh, was very big at that point. Mm -hmm. It's become much smaller now. Right. My daughter is in medical school. Okay. There are probably more girls in that class than, than boys. Guys. Oh, wow. At that point, mm. we had probably five girls in a class of 107. Oh. Yep. Oh. Yes. It was really bad. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. And we, the rest of them, the dental class had actually a better balance for some reason, but there were many fewer students. In medical school, mm. Mm. we had probably only seven girls, I think, if I'm not wrong. Wow. Yeah, and the rest were boys. Oof. Okay. Okay. So, um, you're not too many. So, you mm. have the anatomy lab, mm -hmm. and the anatomy lab is mm. lined up mm -hmm. with corpses. Right. So, on on aluminium tables. Mm. Uh, they are covered in mm -hmm. polythene. Mm -hmm. And then you are located four people pa, pa per body. Cop, pa yeah. body. Mm. Okay. Mm. And therefore, you have two this side to that side. Mm. And the lecturer during the anatomy practical class will mm. just walk table to table and say, So, the, your first anatomy class would start with the toes and then you start dissecting the toes you start from the bottom you look at the nerves what that serve the toe you look at the blood vessels the muscles that serve the toe you name one by one 
these are the muscles, you dissect them, this is called this, this is function, mm. this is the one you use for lifting the toe, this is the one you for bending the toe. So you learn like that. It's Yo. very extremely systematic. Mm. And you come up, after that you come to the foot. Mm. You learn all the muscles and bones of the foot. Mm. And you name them, and mm. you learn, and you examine. Mm. You come up like that. Mm. And by the time you finish the year, mm. you are now in the, in the head. You are now opening the skull, mm. studying the brain, mm. studying the vessels, the mm. nerves of the brain, everything, mm. the mm. eyes, the, mm -hmm. everything. Mm. So you do that the entire year. Mm -hmm. And you have, but alongside that, mm. you're also doing a subject called physiology. Mm -hmm. Understanding, so you're understanding the anatomy of the body, yeah. But then you're also understanding the physiology of the body at the same body. time. Right. Meaning, you know, how does blood flow? Mm. How does the heart beat? And mm. how does the blood flow from the heart? How does it come back? Mm. How do the lungs work? Mm. So you're not learning diseases now. Mm. You're just being taught mm. how the body works. Mm. And at the same time, you're doing a subject called biochemistry. This is year one? Year one. Oh, so it's pretty intense. Very intense. So mm. you're doing anatomy. Of the human body mm. you're doing physiology, physiology how the body works yeah and you're doing the chemistry mm. what are the chemical processes mm. hormones mm. that run the body mm. how does the body produce energy mm. so by the time you finish your first year mm. you have a very good understanding of mm. how the normal body mm. works mm. anatomy ends there then you're mm. moving out second year mm. when you're going second year you continue with the uh, your biochemistry because mm. it's more you know you have to learn much more mm -hmm. and then now you start to introduce how drugs work, mm. okay? Mm. And you start to introduce what disease means. Mm. So you introduce now something called pharmacology. Mm -hmm. That's learning the drugs, mm -hmm. the medicines. Mm. You remember now you already understood how the body works. So mm. now you're getting introduced to. Mm. Therefore, if you give this drug, mm. it affects this system you learned in physiology. In this particular in way. In this particular way. Right. Makes it better or worse. Mm. And then you learn disease now. You start to study um, what we call pathology. Mm -hmm. You start now to be introduced to all the things you saw in the human body. Mm. You are shown a normal lung, mm. you are shown a normal liver. Mm. Now you start being shown a sick liver. Mm. You start being shown a sick lung. Mm. And now you can relate. Mm. And then you're also learning what medicines are used. So you do that until the end of second year. Mm. And then after that, you now start. Now you've learned the normal body, you learn disease, mm. drugs. Mm. Then third year, mm. you know, all these years now you're doing in, in the, cli pre in the, the clinical studies, mm -hmm. you're in Chiromo campus. Mm. Mm. Then now you move to Kenyatta Hospital, mm -hmm. which is in partnership with the University of Nairobi. Mm. Now in third year, you now start going to the ward. Right. Yes. Because so, now you understand the background. So you are... You start now to see patients. So you are assisting, you're working with doctors now? Yes. Okay. Now you're working with the lecturers, mm. maybe postgraduate doctors, mm. others who are now in the ward, you mm. attend the ward rounds. Mm. Mm. So now you start to hear, you start talking to also talk to what we call clerkship. Mm. You go to casualty, mm. when people come, mm. you take their history, mm. then you present that to the doctor, mm. and they tell you, what do you think it is? You're like, mm. I think this is pneumonia. Mm. They're like, yeah, you're right. What mm. do we need to do? Mm. You need to admit. So now you start now to interact with a real patient environment. Right. And now that's when you're doing surgery. Yeah. You're doing internal medicine, understanding diseases like malaria, pneumonia. Yeah. You're doing pediatrics to understand the disease of children. Yeah. Then you get to fourth year, you now start doing obstetrics and gynecology, mm. pregnancy, mm. disease of women, because mm. that's a critical part in mm. general health. Mm. And then you move on and uh, you do ENT, you do uh, psychiatry. Mm. So all those courses now are done in fourth and fifth, fifth year. And then you graduate. Yeah. When you graduate, you now do your internship, mm. where you go now and become an intern mm. under supervision mm. for one year. Mm. And then based on the response from your supervisor, mm then they recommend to the medical practitioner's board mm. that you cannot be registered as a doctor. Mm. Then now after that, you go mm. to practice. Mm. So, it, you know, we went through all that. You went through all Kenyatta that? At Kenyatta National Hospital. Did you choose to specialize? No. Mm. Actually, what happened is when I finished my medical school, mm. I was top student and mm. all this. Mm. I had, when I was in third year, mm. I got married. Mm -hmm. Okay. A life event. Exactly. <laughs> 